Hello everybody and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. This time I've made sure that my microphone is recording and instead of continuing on with any story based stuff we're gonna go to side story because they are just as important if not more important sometimes for uh, progression in the actual story. So before we call Bridget we're gonna handle a fair amount of side jobs for the next couple episodes. So there might be a little bit more jumping than normal for my voice actually working, but it'll be better overall. A.V., I have some new work for you. A certain item needs to be salvaged from the landfill before some gonks chop it to pieces. I've attached some more details for you. Well, we're not here for that. We're here for whatever this is. Oh, is this our original car? <sighs> Been a damned long while. Let's see what we got here. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh, scan the car. Fenders and trunk eaten away by rust. Rest of the body's still holding up. I wonder what's under the hood. Why did we come get our car? It's warm. Engine was running just a short while ago. New coil, plugs, mm, and somebody's clearly been tinkering with the camshaft. What's this now? There's nothing plugged in over there. Someone cleaned the cooling fan and filled up the brake fluid. Except... Huh, with water. <laughs> New, but used. Salvaged from some other junker. All right. Seen enough. Hey, what the hands off my car? The, no, no, it's my car. No, why would you leave it rusting in a yard? It broke down. Because it broke down, and I. And you abandoned it, and now, out of nowhere, you remembered you'd left it. Likely story. This last week, I put in sweat. Smart. Anything to get this heap running. Uh, should have started with the motor. Should have started with a step motor. Would have been quicker. Says who? And why? Because it's iffy. Starts sticking. We clear the carbon deposits, and it starts running like new again. Fuck! I replaced the entire throttle. Ah, see? It takes the owner to really know a set of wheels. Former owner? Cause mine now. As soon as I'm done doing the basic fixes, I am leaving this fucking city in a cloud of exhaust. Uh. Seem desperate. Why you want to leave? No way you'd understand if you have to ask. Come on, try me. Tell me. Tell you what, damn it! Look around you! Dirt, rot, shit, and scum. I don't want to live here. You know what? You can keep the car. Timing chain's about rusted through. So? You want to replace it. Else is liable to snap if you open her up even a bit. Take her over 30. Hold on, hold on. You mean to say I can have her? Mean to say you can't. Wouldn't have a use for her here anyway. Now your typical urban vehicle. Roads rise to meet you. Clever girl. Jeez. Thanks. Not sure what to say. Well, well, this nomad planet roots. Could it be? Dunno. Hard to ruminate on that when you got a fucking time bomb lodged in your head. If it's any consolation, fucking time bomb feels shitty about it, too. I know, Johnny. Come on. Let's ghost. This place makes my skin crawl. Well, don't kick it. What's kicking it gonna do for you? Alright, on to the next thing. So, even though I've explained this in a previous part, since my microphone was off, I probably should explain it again. So, between parts, I've been going around and doing the combat camps, the sticks on the map, the brawls, or whatever they're called, and a handful of other 
gigs because they don't really pertain to the story in any overarching way and saving side stuff for here but I am recording when I do that in case anything interesting happens or a phone call comes up uh, not really a whole lot has happened we've had a call from Judy about wanting to take over clouds and we had a call from Pan Am which is where we're going now that's it that's pretty much all that's happened between those parts had a handful of good gear come up and was able to buy this truck. Nothing over the top special, no perk points were divvied out or anything like that. So nothing's been missed. I'm going to continue to do that between uh, recording sessions just so I have a way to keep playing the game and earn money so we can get better gear or better cars or whatever pretty much. You're here. Uh, back with the I had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know. Their family. Exactly. What happened? What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure, it was Wraiths. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Belonged to a nomad family too once. City doesn't change us all that much, I guess. That's hard to deny. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay, how do you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Not going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know- Leader gets nabbed and you what? Hope for the best? Rather not think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. I'll the question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in? Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. I'm not seeing any sort of gate. Do you see the tracks? 
Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building. There. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Okay. Why do these drone sections feel like they take forever? Okay, come on. The skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay. Okay. Got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Let's summarize. Let's sum things up just to be sure. Sheesh. Okay. The Raffins captured Sol. They're holding him somewhere inside their base. We are the cavalry riding to the rescue, hoping to make it in time. You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you, but we'll let bullets fly only as a last resort. They are many, we are few, so we'll need to look for any chance to gain the upper hand. You will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? Yep. Perfectly. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Okay. Taking a tour of the van. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Looks Either like a van. To do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Okay. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him on my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Of course. Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. Want me driving? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Alright. Let's go. Even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. He let himself get captured. Anyone else? But so? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the song I remember. All had a eyes. I know. It's just. That is a... is that a sandstorm? That looks like a sandstorm. I... I don't... never heard of the sandstorm happening in this game, but I also hadn't really heard of the green rain either. That could be up for a sandstorm. 
could make stealthing a whole lot easier. That is one hell of a storm! Looking bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. So it is a sandstorm. I'm guessing okay. this is scripted, Let's not go ambient, over the though. Again. Like, we, we won't just encounter call. sandstorms. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. Alright, so before going in, we have points that need to be put into places. We're going to take a point into cool. Body. Apparently we're putting two into body. That was an accident, but oh well. We'll take forget-me-not. We'll take another point of weak link to have that completed. And then we'll take mass vulnerability. And we'll put our last two points into maxing out our health. Now again, just as in previous times, I'm going to try and do the stealthy, so if I do this right, there will just be a bunch of smaller jump cuts between the action. Quote unquote action, I mean. So, you know, mainly just meeting me talking, saying, let's get behind you, and behind you, and yada yada yada. You know the drill. Is that... Why did my truck spawn and blow up? What the hell? Okay, main building. Watch for vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told you. Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security camps. Yep. So let's take everything off. He wasn't in here when I entered, so... Penam. Found Sol, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? Uh, it's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time. Well, then we just need to kind of get around to get down. But I don't know if I can get behind you or jump down on top of you. Yes! Good, 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 good. And I'm just gonna drop you here behind something. Say your prayers! Damn it, Pete! So much for being sly! Fuck. this crafting spec all right some heavies so what are you fine do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar okay what y your cigar i told you sons of bitches hey your i cigar it's a ice cold hooch and a couple of ladies to keep me company Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. I'm gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Okay, yeah. I had to be closer. Come on. Family's waiting. So, oh, how yeah. is it? 
time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. I'll have a shitstorm down here. Ruined to be a category five. Get out of the building. I'll be right there. Alright. I see the dust storm blew in, so we could just get in Hurry, the car. Hop in the back. Okay. Oh, I'm a little tired. Pan Am, your hands aren't moving. Pan Am, you're making a mistake. Another one. You're serious right now? Those devils wanted to know our location. If we drive to camp now, get we'll her. just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. Is that a gun? It's gone, whatever it was. And the scent of blood? What? We got more chomping at our tail! Fuck! Okay. Am I gonna get to shoot? What's going on? I'm gonna make sure you never walk again! Can't tell what's going on. We need to shake him! That's one way to treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul! I can't squeeze any more out of it! Cut off that tail! Now I get to do something? Get ready. We're all gonna do it. We gonna do it? We gonna do it. Okay. All the call dogs! Come on. Decommission the One bastards. down. Driver down. Oh. This ought to slow him down. I know, damn it. There's an abandoned Ow. farm nearby. I'll get us there. Come on. Fuck. My hands. Do you have to kill me? What? All right. Damn it. That's it. Woo! Okay, the car's down. <laughs> Out of way, Jesus girl. Christ. Why was that so difficult? I've done it better myself. Finally. Inside, quick! God, it was a long, quiet section for no reason. Uh, I need to catch my breath. What is going on on the bottom of my screen? Uh, uh, just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. Yeah, sure thing. Uh... Ooh, take that. Power! No, not, not mirror. Power. A lot of useful things. Dangle's left in a hurry. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank God. Ooh, such a such a autonomous Damn, it's getting cold. Happiness. I tried to get us some heat in here. No luck. Uh. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. Outside. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this oh, I see, I gotta go out in the sandstorm. Wow. You know, that's kind of rude. Not gonna lie. There we go. That was stupid. That was just stupid. Ugh. Now what? See what I see? Expiration day is from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky. Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That Wraith's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted... 
everything. Our camp locations, routes, off-loading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? V, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Don't be mad, but... I think Saul could be right. What? Why? Clan's future. It's survival. That's what's at stake. Mm-hmm. Did you hear me talking about something else? Compared the Raffins to Locusts? I mean, Biotechnica's got experience with pests. Hear that, Pan Am? That is the voice of reason. All I hear is the fucking wind. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Oh, what was that about? Why not? Two haboobs. Yeah. Two haboobs. Ugh. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead. Yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day and tonight and today, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. Tell me about it. I'm still not used to it. All right. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? A little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Um... It's lucky we found this farm. I just hope the power holds till morning. We're gonna go down this path, if... We'll see what happens. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Here at the Independent California, Customer satisfaction is job one. Your wish is our command. I would settle for a soft pillow. Might prove hard to come by. We'll see. You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. And B, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. <sighs> Do you hear that? Mm, no. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. Oh, hi, Johnny. Took you long enough. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Look who's alive.
Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. You gotta agree now. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. <sighs> it's it. too bad I better get rolling in a minute. You need to stay. Think you can see that. Not one of them will admit it. But damn, do they need you. Of course they do. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, both of you spewed some drivel. But I do have to grant him one thing. The wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas... you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Alright, so... We get a sniper. The Overwatch. But you're in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in whatever comes next. Bye, guys.